All right, so today we're gonna be talking about how to check an alternator for a bad diode. Uh, most alternators are gonna have three diodes and when one of them goes bad, um, it's gonna cause the electrical system in the vehicle to run a little different uh, than what it's used to because the alternator puts out a small amount of AC voltage, alternating current, um, but there is an acceptable limit. Now, when I got taught in school, it was 50 millivolts or more of AC voltage is unacceptable. Now I've seen some vehicles say if it's above 100 millivolts of AC current, or I'm sorry, AC voltage, it's unacceptable. So either way, if you're 50 to 100 or more, it's unacceptable. Um, so what we do to check this is we use our multimeter with the vehicle running and we hook it up to the battery, the positive and negative terminals on AC volts and we're gonna get a reading. Um, the alternator will put out DC voltage and the specification for that is 13.5 volts to 15.3 volts. So a good alternator and most alternators that are in good shape, you're gonna find in the 14 volt range. All right, so let's take a look here of how we actually do this. All right, so we take our multimeter and we set it to AC volts. And I'll show you how both work here. This is with the vehicle running. We're gonna hook up our ground to negative and our positive to positive on the battery. Um, AC volts, and we're looking for no more than 50 millivolts. And right now we got 12, and that's fine. So here's what DC should look like. Remember I said the 14 volt range? So 14.35, that's good. So we know the alternator's good there as far as voltage output. Uh, DC. Now we're checking AC and 13 or 12 is well acceptable. That's well below 50 or even 100 that some vehicles call for. So in this case, we're good. We know our diodes are good and our output is good. Um, and that's basically how you check an alternator for AC voltage um, exceeding 50 or 100 millivolts. And also to check DC volts to make sure that the alternator is still doing its job and putting out the correct amount of volts. Um, for DC checks, meaning you know 13.5 to 15.3 volts, um, I like to go to the back of the alternator on the actual output bolt, but that's just me. You can do it at the battery and get a quick go or no go um, scenario, but for 100% accuracy, it's better to go off the back of the alternator to check the DC voltage. And that's it. So thank you for tuning in. Um, any questions, just leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching The People's Garage.